this number came up at uh, our local uh, kingdom hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, yeah. Um, I just had a quick question about something. Um, I was reading on um, the, the website, jw.org. I was wondering if I could run it by someone. Okay. Um, let me see here. Are you in Santa Maria, California? Or no. Mm -mm. Okay. Are you long? Where are you at? <laughs> well, I'm not really. I'm not really calling to share my information, but um, oh. I'm just at home right now. I just had a question. I was wondering if I could oh. run by you. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is at the website. Yeah, it's it's called online library. Oh, okay, online library. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see here. Uh, it's only oh, really goodness. one sentence. You want me to just read it? I can tell you where where it is. Oh, oh. Okay, online library. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay, it says. Um, the faithful and discreet slave does not endorse any literature, meetings, or websites that are not produced or organized under its oversight. Mm -hmm. um, that's really interesting. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's some that would consider that a form of um, information control. Well, hang on a second. Let me um, ask you, where, where about did you find that? So, Oh, okay. Uh, it's called um, Kingdom, Min Library. Kingdom Ministry. Okay, Kingdom Ministry. September so 2007, page 3. Okay, trying to find it. Yeah. Yeah. September 2007, page 3. Yeah. That was September 2007, page 3? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the May service? Okay. What's it in the... Page 2. So we want page 3. Okay. Okay. Whereabouts was that? Uh... Page 3. Okay. We're page 3. They have some bullets, you know. Oh, it there. says question box. Oh, question box. Maybe it's in the whole series of articles. I think most organizations would want to protect their information. And, um, uh, keep, actually, you know. no, I've never heard of that. I never heard of, I mean, I'm reading JW.org. My church didn't tell me not to, or to only check yeah. their website. Oh. That would be alarming yeah. to me. There it is. Because mm -hmm. the faithful and discreet slave uh, endorse independent groups of witnesses, independent groups of witnesses who meet together to engage in scriptural research. Or, or, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. <laughs> that's a well, good that's one, a, too, isn't it? That's yeah. a question, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and others, here's the answer. No, it does not. Right. And yet, and yet in various parts of the world, a few associates of our organization that form groups. Right. Doing research on Bible-related subjects. Some have right. pursued an independent group study of biblical Hebrew and Greek, so as to analyze the accuracy of the New World Translation. Mm -hmm. Others explore scientific subjects related to the Bible. They have uh, created um, web uh, sites and chat rooms for the purpose of exchanging and debating their views. They also have held conferences and produced publications to present their findings and to supplement what is provided at our Christian meetings and through our literature. So it's the, the quick answer was no, it is not. So it's not restrictive. Um, um, for example, I can go to... I can go to a King James, uh, I can go online and look at a King James Bible, or I can look at the Catholic Douay, uh, and, and I've used uh, like interlinears, but I don't necessarily go to, say, the Catholic Church doctrine and have them, you know, I, I'm not going to look up, I may look up what they're saying about the Trinity, because I want to understand it more, or maybe how fire, or immortality of the soul, or will the earth be destroyed, or, you know, is Jesus God, you know, I mean, uh, I've been doing this now for 49 years, so. Oh wow! But, but wow. I don't, I don't find it. I don't find the faithful and discreet slave or, or a governing body. You know, um, how can I say restricting us or brainwashing us? Really? There's a uh, there's a one man who was in what was called the Unifica Unification Church Moonies. Have you ever heard of that? The Moonies? Yeah, Moonies. Have you ever heard of them? Mm. Or it's called I, now it might be called Unification Church, but. This guy, Sun Myung Moon, he was kind of the authoritative uh, channel, you know, for them. And um, one guy um, escaped out of it. And then he ended up getting educated in uh, tactics and characteristics 
of high control or toxic groups. And he wrote a book called, uh, let's see. Oh, I don't remember, but his name is Steve Hassan, H-A-S-S-A-N. And he does include Jehovah's Witnesses as a very high control toxic group based on the criteria that experts in that field um, describe that is unique to those type groups, not unique to mainstream religions, you know? Well, what, what if I was to say to you that I find that, that that's not true? That... Mm -hmm. Well, of course, he said that's an important part of it is to not feel or notice the control, the high control. So he says, of course not. Of course, you're not going to think that. But uh, many other people notice it. For example, um, Jehovah's Witnesses always want people to take their literature, but they will not take anything. Like, for example, I tried to give a witness just um, a listing of some quotes I wanted them to look at from their literature. Uh, they wouldn't take it. I thought that was especially really strange, <laughs> you know, or say a PDF of their quotes, uh, 142 page PDF showing quotes um, that they don't believe anymore or, or teach the opposite. Or have changed significantly 142 pages so you know would you want to look at that it's just quotes from the literature with the dates on it well see uh, what i need to determine is mm -hmm. you know what is the objective for example mm -hmm. uh, i dignified you know the call by calling back but yeah I'm, I'm thank you i appreciate it uh -huh. yeah, i was surprised sure. yeah a, a lot of times people um, want to debate and, oh. and really, like I tell people, you know, I'm not searching for the truth. Right, the truth. right. Therefore, for me to take someone's literature at the door because I'm there handy. Right. You know, where I've been advised by Christ, you know, go right. door to door, you know, preach from house to house. And I do that. Jesus said so preach from house to house? Well, that's in uh, Acts 20, 20. Oh, yeah. They were going to, uh, you know, kata oikos, according to homes. They were going yeah, to, goes, that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's where they met. And it's where believers yeah, met, and they were teaching. The they were teaching the believers, so that's not a good one to use for that. But well, um, anyways, when you mention um, kata ikos, it, it is in the distributive sense, so it's not like you know skipping houses, but it's going house to house. Yeah, house to house, to house of uh, believers, especially in the right. Acts twenty passage, which if you read the whole context, that's pretty clear. Even Raymond Franz used to be on the governing body, and uh, he really analyzed door to door and didn't. Uh, think that's what that means anymore so he has a whole chapter yeah. hey are you allowed to read his book crisis of conscience well you know what uh, huh. here's the thing uh -huh. uh, i i feel like i've already had this discussion like um at least 10 times with others you know yeah that, yeah uh, and, and and i and i really i, I don't think I, I would want to uh you know i don't even want to you know reference right reference right now and, oh okay uh, I, I, yeah. I kind of basically feel where you're coming from yeah but again for now i think i, I don't need um, to read quotes that are already in our literature in oh i think you do because they put yeah. out those things as coming from jehovah sure. you know the direction comes from jehovah to jesus to them but they're not inspired so it's kind of like a mind game you know they play mm -hmm. both sides there and, and after something doesn't happen or they need to change it they say that was just our understanding they don't present anything they teach as an understanding. They present it all. And they did at that time, too, whether it was um, 1975, 1914, 1918, 1919, you know. And, you know, people just want to help you. People feel like what the, people that know the real gospel of grace and salvation by faith in Christ and having the mercy of God freely and that as many as receive him can become children of God. That's what it says in John 1, 12. They're trying to help you because you're not even in the new covenant, which Jesus said, he talked about, this is my blood of the new covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. And so that's why people try to help you. And as long as you are captive to that idea that they speak for Jehovah, you cannot even hear the real gospel. You can't hear well, about you grace. I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I know. I, I know you have to because that's okay. that control is speaking and then you, you, you shut down. So take care, um, take care of yourself. You too. Okay. Hope you can escape. Okay. Jesus loves you.